Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing as the United Balkan Federation. All this territory are belong to us now, which is beautiful. And this now means I need to do a bit of a reorganization in my nation, a little bit. Um, defy Moscow, gain a puppet goal against the Soviets? That's hilarious. We could demand some territory from the Italy, uh, Italians. They might even give it to me at this point. I have no idea. Purge the elites, something we could do, or we can continue focusing on going for our industry investments. Yes. Now that we have a lot of factories, let's go ahead and get this sucker up. Boost up the consumer goods and stuff again, but if we continue down to utmost optimization, we're going to find we have a much, much stronger economy. So now I have some civilian factories to work with. Uh, how many overall? It looks like another 30. Okay, so we can do a couple of different lines. Um, I would like still some more civilians because I am very confident we are about to engage in a lot of trade missions, which are going to need a lot more. But then after that, I think we continue focusing primarily on getting some military factories up and running because I need to militarize. I need to militarize the crud out of my country. Can we destroy these remnants? Let's go for it. We have troops ready. We're going to be doing some weird skirmishes and stuff, but we are about to uh, get rid of the Macedonian, you know, issue. What else do I need here? Answer some fighters, close air support, more artillery, more infantry equipment, more support equipment. More infantry equipment, more of this, more of this. Um, and then what else? Let's start producing some trains and some trucks so I can get some logistics figured out. And then after that, honestly... More fighters and more casts. That's it. That's all I need at the moment. Now, one great thing is uh, I no longer need to be importing any aluminum. We got a lot. I don't need tungsten either. Belgium joins the Allies. Yes, World War II is going on right now. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, British Malaya. Can you please send some rubber my way? Thank you. We are friendos. Netherlands joins the Allies now. Okay. Let's go ahead and start producing some of them convoys since I really have nothing else to do. And I don't even care that I've got extra dockyards. This is great! All of a sudden, I actually have a respectable nation! It's very respectable! Let's destroy the National Social Movement. That'll finally be done. Why did this not finish? Something changed on this one, and I have no idea what. But it did. Okay, for some reason we didn't actually destroy them. That's fine. We'll come back to that in a little bit, I am sure. Um... As far as our spies are concerned, I'd like to go ahead and start building up a collaboration government in Italy. And we will do this at least once. I would like to actually automatically repeat if possible. Because it'd be very nice to have these guys collapse if we do end up going to war against the Axis, which we're probably going to if I want to take over the rest of the Balkans. Then it would be very, very helpful to um, own all of Italy. I would like that very, very much. Please and thank you. Anything else we can be doing right now? Um, demand the Turkish territories. Yeah, that's a thing we can do. Uh, there's actually a good chance they just give it to me straight out. It could happen. One thing we could do is we could destabilize Turkey, force them to have a communist coup, help them win, but don't in invite them to the faction, then they're not going to be protected by the uh, the Germans or the UK. And then we could just kill them. Would that be enough to technically get the achievement? It might. And if Italy does accept giving me all of the uh, Balkan territory, then that would technically be both my achievements done before I even have to go into World War II. Wouldn't that be an interesting situation to be in? Wouldn't it be interesting? All right. Well, for now, let's just let's just finish this off. I wasn't sure if this maybe played some sort of an event. They got no popularity, so these guys are going to get completely destroyed right about now. Goodbye. The National Socialist Movement's done. I get my stability back, and we're out. Okay. Let's destroy these guys. Let's try that again. As long as I keep some troops over here, it ought to work. I actually, if anything, have, uh, let's say, way too many troops in one area, and it's causing a lot of attrition. Let's pull some of you guys back, and let's pull... Is this the issue? I didn't have troops over here anymore? Might actually have been the issue. Maybe we didn't have anybody against the borders of Thrace and they gave up. 
Well, let's try that and see if that helps. Pull some of these troops off. No reason to be taking a lot of attrition. Anyway, all right, so that's done. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What else do you want to do? We could go for some nice little companies. Um, or we could go for a theorist. I have yet to work on literally a single doctrine. We could go for some experience this way. Entrenchment? Yeah, I need more army experience. That seems fine. And is there literally anything else to do? We could do war propaganda. I could try to scare the crud out of Turkey. If they say no, I'm pretty sure I get a war goal against them, which I can just use at any point. But I'm not going to do that until I'm in a position where I want to fight against the Italians. We should definitely train up more troops. At least a couple times. We don't have an absolute ton of equipment, and that's partly because we have a lot of really bad templates. Let's see. I want you guys to be my primary template. Actually, we wait. No, we will duplicate you. These are going to be my 21 width infantry plus artillery divisions. Change your icon. And let's update this. Okay. And then from here, let's swap in a little artillery plus a little bit more infantry. And some support artillery and done. This is what I want to start transitioning my army into. To do that is going to take a lot of equipment, unfortunately. We definitely don't want the cavalry, so let's get rid of some of that stuff. Other random templates that we've picked up from the nations we just annexed. Some of them have anti-tank and stuff, which I don't even want. Swap some of this. Did I get all of your equipment, by the way? We've got 30,000 infantry equipment, so I'm going to go with yeah. We probably did. Upgrades for recon companies. Let's do that. Um, let's go for some extra fighters, because more air superiority obviously makes my life easier. We're gonna end up fighting against the German Reich. I think one thing we should probably consider at some point here is building up at least a couple of forts over here to make it easier. To hold on to this ground and not lose anything. Because what I, if, if Italy can, uh, refuses, and they probably will, what I'll do is just take all of this land, then focus on Turkey, and as long as we can hold the Germans back so I don't lose any core states, I think I could technically get my achievement. Both of them. Just like that. Which would be great. Still waiting for these darn IMRO remnants to be done, but it'll be very nice when they are gone. Demand the Turkish territories. Let's hold off on that for a moment. I will come back to that, but let's hold off for a moment. So where's the extra stuff I just trained? Hi, how you doing? You just go ahead and move over there for now. So yeah, we're gonna start building up an army. Um, I want to have a full army of at least defensive units before I even dip my toes into World War II. We're still not a powerful nation by any stretch of the imagination, so I gotta be very careful about that. Would help if I unpause the game, by the way. Let's go ahead and finish off North Transylvania, getting some factories. We'll get all that taken care of. Then we're going to make a beeline for utmost optimization. We're currently spending a lot of uh, factories on consumer goods. This is going to get a bunch of them right back to me. So that's why I want to prioritize that as fast as we can. Um, 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 anything else? An armor expert? I guess we could just for the army experience, or we could start getting some air experience. You know what? An interception guy actually makes some sense. I'm not going to have enough fighters to do a lot, but having some interception to prevent them from doing a lot would actually be beneficial. So it's about to be 1940. Um, that means we should go ahead and start working on upgrades for our fighters in our casts. I think, anyway. We're already working on the improved computing machine, so that's fine. You get a sign over here. Um, do, 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 do. Let's move you... Just so it's easier to figure out where my troops are being deployed. We've got a whole bunch of templates that I don't want. I mean, unless I want to keep some of these guys for, like, some coastal divisions, which I guess I could. Some of these divisions aren't even really that bad. I just don't want things like the anti-tank. So if I start swapping out some of their divisions, I'll actually gain back at least some artillery, which would be great. Yeah, a lot of these divisions are actually basically carbon copies of each other. What is this? Get rid of that nonsense. Thank you. I do want to have you still. Um, I think for occupied territories, let's make sure we swap that out for the cavalry. This one, I think, specifically. You've got recon, but that's not necessary. All right. 
Good. German interest in Scandinavia. Well, they announced their interest and it instantly killed them. That's not surprising. If I did try to swap this out, we gain back some stuff. I just don't have enough support equipment and artillery. Let's just do it. Let's just swap all these guys out. What's my logistics look like now? Not as bad as I would have thought, to be honest. Um, the support equipment's the big one. But we're really not that far off on having enough artillery to support all of this. That's huge. Um, I'm going to cancel a, all these new troops I was just starting up. Because... I actually want to be training up only these guys. So we'll finish this up once, and then we'll start training up more. We'll come back to that, and we'll see how it looks. But both of these guys also need to go ahead and swap over to the new template, so let's do that. Honestly, the 21 wits, like, they're not outstanding, but, like, they really do the job. They do a great job of just holding the line so that nothing really goes wrong. It's fantastic. I love them. Yeah, okay, now we're lacking a lot more artillery, but that's because I'm training up a lot more stuff, too. What I obviously want to do is move on to 27 wits divisions at some point as well. Which has even more firepower from the artillery, and those we've found are pretty dang good. I don't think I have a chance to go for tanks. I just don't see that as being a very good option. Alright, so we finished with these guys, right? That's it? Okay. So now that we are done with the Macedonian threat, and that's officially over... Let's, uh, split the armies. So I can get one, two, three, four, five, six more over here, and then... One, two, three, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six more units over here. Group these guys up, and then move just a couple more infantry over here, and then boom. Okay. So now we are going to have our forces ready. Uh, still no field marshal. We should prop... Oh, God. Now I've got field marshals for days. Holy crud. All right. That's pretty good. Um, what, what do we want? Supply consumption. Reconnaissance. Better mountain stuff. Movement on land. Entrenchment speed. Yeah. But this guy's got really good stats. I'm going to take you. Why did I somehow have 25? I miscounted. You are going to take... I don't care. You. You. And then... You. For now. I don't really care. We're going to take an army. We're going to set you up over here. Take another army. Set you up over here. Take an army and set you up over here. And then... Uh, actually, yeah. Forget this for a second. Um, let's send these guys over here. Where's the front line right here? I think these are these aren't technically still joined, are they? How do I set up a front line right here? I don't think I'm able to. For some reason it's not letting me click on that. Weird. We do need these islands from Italy, by the way. That's going to be important for us. Uh, otherwise, we're not going to have all of our Balkan goals, which the UK just took. So here's what that means. I'm pretty sure now, in order to... Um, <clears throat> in order to win this achievement, now we have to fight the Allies and take these islands. Or join the Allies and ask them to give this territory back, which they might do, and they also might not. It is impossible to say for sure. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, okay. Anyway, what else we got? Uh, we want Cass. Let's go for an upgrade there. So, hi Turkey. Would you please give me the land? They refuse. We get an Annex War Goal, which means now I can go to war against them anytime I want. If I do so, I will fight the Allies as well as the Axis, which makes this a terrible plan now, but not a bad plan later. It's still an option for me. What else are we constructing right now? We're still working on all of this. Uh, once we get this utmost optimization, I'm looking forward to seeing what our economy looks like once we're done with all this. It should look a lot better. We're really close to getting our achievement, to be honest. We're not that far off. It's going to take a really good war against Turkey. It's going to take the Allies giving me the land. And it's going to take Italy falling apart at least enough that I can get what I need. And for that, I definitely need a lot more troops. The more I can train up, the better. Soviets are attacking Finland. All right. 
So with all of that done, um, I need to now demand land from Italy. I think the same thing is going to happen, that they'll say no. Probably. And then uh, once they do, we'll have a war goal against them. Do I want them to say no? I think the answer is yes, because somehow I have to get to war with the Axis and help the Allies enough that they're willing to let me join. Now, here's the thing. What I could do... In order to get the achievement for Turkey and the Prussia of the Balkans, I think, I need to be the leader of a faction. So joining the Allies is not technically possible. Unless I disband my faction, join the Allies, get what I need, and then somehow I need to become the head of a faction again. I could join China. It's not unusual for them to let you join. Or, or, we say, screw it, we're not going to join the Allies. When the time comes, we declare war, we rush across, we grab the islands, we walk away and say, I got the achievement, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm not actually interested in fighting you, goodbye. We could do that. It's a bit cowardly, but it works. Uh, let's see, still need more support equipment and artillery just to get ourselves back on our feet. This is all looking good. We're actually producing a decent number of trucks. Infantry equipment's looking pretty solid. Anti-air is something I definitely would like to have. I could be crazy and say, let's attack the Soviets. I mean, while the Germans are fighting the Soviets, could be an opportunity to attack Italy. Or we could jump in on this action and take out the Soviets and try to puppet them. And with them as a puppet, then we kill this Axis. I don't know. There's a lot of different ways we could approach this now. What I would have liked is for Italy to launch a naval invasion and take over these islands again. That's what I'd like. But I'm pretty confident that the British rule the seas. So that ain't gonna happen. What, we have a doctrine? Cool, let's finally go for something. How about superior firepower? Or maybe better yet, let's go for a... We can't get a military theorist because, dang it. I can't get a cheap doctrine guy? That sucks. All right. Well, superior firepower it is for just 10% more soft attack. That's still good. No matter how you slice and dice it, that's still pretty good. Um, anything else here strike me as really, really important. Production efficiency cap is pretty nice. Reinforce rate. This is shockingly pretty decent. Huh. Yeah, let's, um, let's pick that up. That should retroactively go through and make the computing machine a little bit faster, but yeah, extra, like, combat stats and just general productivity? I mean, who could say no? That's pretty solid. All right, we need to get extra breakthrough and soft attack, of course. Oh my god, the British are invasing, invading Albania. No. That's right, that's right. You run in- thank you. Huh. I was gonna say, please don't leave more space that I need to take. Come on, man, don't do that. All right, now here's one thing. I'm pretty sure... Something that factors in... Oh, we could sign a non-aggression pact. That'd be interesting. Um, something we could factor in to maybe Italy's decision whether they do want to accept or not is, I think, their opinion of me. And also, if I just rapidly deployed all these troops and I have more on the ground, I think there's actually a higher chance they'd say yes. But kind of, again, I'm in the situation of, like, do I want them to say yes? Weird. They'd be willing to join a faction? Huh? They have strategic reasons to ally me. Huh? Are you sure? I don't think I have strategic reasons to ally you unless you're gonna give me everything I want and then some. Agent forced into hiding. That's okay. Did we finish the collaboration government? It looks like it. Yeah, we did. Okay, so somebody has to escape, but that's fine. She'll come back. And in the meantime, we are already in the process of preparing for another one. And once she's back, we can do it again. Now, that said, I don't actually need many collaborations with them. Just a little bit was nice. So actually, I don't really need another one. Let's let's say, forget that. Refund this. No, be done with that. Thank you. So, what's more important? Um, I don't know. What is more important for us? Spy on the Soviets? Spy on the Germans? Start getting some collaboration up and running so if I want to fight them, they'll be easier to kill? 
the Italians just gave me all the land. <laughs> oh, well, okay then. Thank you. Um, huh. I didn't think they'd say yes. I really didn't. Well, in that case... <laughs> Thank you, Italy! I'm still gonna kill you! Probably! Someday! Defy Moscow. We can say, screw it, let's just go kill the Soviets. It seems a little bit painful for not a lot of gain. I mean, it's a lot of gain, but like, meh. Um, I guess we can go for Purge the Elites and start working towards some of this awesome stuff. Let's do that. Italy gave in to my demands and just gave me all the states. If the Allies had not taken this island, I think all that would be left now is literally fight Italy and go. I'm oh, sorry, not fight, lady. Fight Turkey and go. Win. I actually think that's all it would have been. We are that close. And because the UK got involved, I can't do anything there. Oh man, that's frustrating. So now I can justify a war goal against Tur uh, Italy if I want. And I mean, there is something to be said about going to war against the Axis so I can fight Turkey, but now I'm kind of leaning toward we need to start a coup. I can demand it again. That's funny. Let's, um, let's not. Let's, uh, let's start destabilizing Turkey and make them go communist. Let's try it. I still need to figure out what the frick I'm going to do about these islands, but maybe I can destabilize Turkey, make them communist, don't let them join the faction, then justify, kill them, then attack Italy, join the allies, ask Britain for this territory back, get the achievements, and I'm done? Would it work? Maybe. And at the same time, maybe not. Let's get some extra fighters going. I feel like that's gonna be good. We have a lot of aluminum. That's actually one really good thing we got going for us right now, so uh, I need to get some of that. Or aluminium, as some of you guys might prefer to say. I don't know. Bunch of silly non-Americans. What's wrong with you commies? Uh, what do we want here, by the way? Ambusher? Yeah, I guess. Ambusher's fine. A little bit of extra defense certainly isn't going to help hurt. Uh, more factories available. We are out of manpower for the record. That's a problem. Still need mostly artillery and stuff. So let's do that. I need to change my conscription law again. I don't have I don't have nearly as much manpower as I think I expected. Considering I got all these cores, so many cores, I really thought it was going to be better than that. And yet, here I am, and it turns out it's not that great. Upgrades for Fighter 2. Can't really go for any engine upgrades. I have not been doing any training up to this point, but that's okay. So, yeah, we are going to start causing issues in Turkey. Let's start boosting up ideology. And then when do you come back? You're in hiding for how long? Oh, you're back. Never mind. Okay. Boost ideology here, please. All right. So between all of this, we're going to see them getting a lot of communist support per day. Yeah, it's going up by about 0.3% per day. That's a lot. So it's not that far-fetched to believe that I can do another coup here. But it's a trap. I have no intention of letting them walk away. No way in heck am I letting them do that. No, we're gonna kill them all. Angle is playing Dota. You know, I got half a mind to play some Dota myself. I like Dota. Dota's fun. Um, you're pretty good. I know you're a field marshal and all, but whatever. Let's do it. Oh, we got more troops too. Perfect. Even better. So, agent captured. Dang it. Well, let's go ahead and rescue this person. I'll send you, since I'd rather have the orator actually stick around. Uh, even more factories finishing up here. Wow, we're building pretty fast now, aren't we? Okay, gotta trade for a bit more of the steel. Destabilizing Turkey is gonna take infantry equipment and manpower. I don't have any. If I can find a way to do this without having to go into, into World War II at all. I'm just gonna say that'd be really funny. If I can do that, that would be absolutely hilarious. To me, and probably nobody else, but to me it'd be pretty funny. Let's 
go for some more excavation tech. I like to have more resources, preferably steel, that I can use myself. Let's stop training some of these units. So we're kind of overdoing it a little bit. Okay, how many more do I need here? Uh, I only need 15 more, that's perfect. So we'll do this one more time and then we'll be done. This Soviet Union demands Bessarabia. Yeah, this only works against the Kingdom of Romania, right? God, I hope I'm not wrong on this. It'd be really embarrassing if it turns out that um, the Soviets are able to attack me. Be really embarrassing if that were the case. But I'm about positive they can't. I am not Romania. Who is this Romania you speak of? Romania does not exist and yet somehow rejected their demands. Amazing how that works, huh? Don't ask me, man. I have no idea what's going on. All right, we're purging the elites. Nothing happens except for boosts in power and stuff. Collectivization of the countryside. Recruitable population. Yes, please. And also consumer cost reduction. Also, yes, please. Let's make this so that these guys all appear over here, by the way. So now I can go for some extra conscription law. Start boosting up that manpower again so we can finish fielding all the troops. And then what? How are we doing over here? You're at 19%. I don't need much more until I can start preparing a coup on you. I'm, it's almost coup time, man. Coup! It's almost coup time. I got enough planes to go around for sure. We have infantry equipment. Uh, I still need more artillery, but... Let's get some anti-air going instead, because I'd like to start tossing that into some units. You know what I need? Army experience. That's what I need. I need army experience so I can actually make my troops better and get doctrines, because I've got none. We haven't really had to fight like much of a war. Agent captured. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Stop it. Now what? <sighs> Alright, well this will be done in a minute. We'll get our other guy back and then we gotta get this person back. Turns out Turkey doesn't like spreading communism. Turns out... Uh, I Oh, interesting. That was perfect timing to get rescued because it actually was a prison break that freed both of them, not just one. Love it. Orchestrate a coup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going for this again. Commence when ready. Oh, right. We also need to select a target. Where? Uh, good question. How about... Right here. So that we can split the forces around the Bosporus, and if any of you get caught over here, even better. Yes. Hey, can we get rid of this and maybe I can do a fallback line? Is this just like... I've got no idea how this works. Uh, okay, um... Yeah, I literally can't draw a front line there. But I can move troops here, so like... Tell you what. You sit there, you go nowhere. How's that? Perfect. More civilian factories! Oh good! Fort time! This will be a nice, narrow front for us. Now, I do have to worry about Hungary, I just realized, because they're a part of the Axis now. So actually, that's gonna complicate things a little bit. Because that's a much, much wider front line that I've got to defend now. Huh. Well, let's start working on extra fighters and close air support. Get that going. Um... An upgrade to radar wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Somehow, I don't know how I did this, but I accidentally selected a bunch of units I didn't mean to. Yeah, I accidentally moved a couple of armies because I saw light blue and got confused as to who was who. There we go. 
Okay, get that under control. So, how best to set this up? If I can get this coup figured out, which shouldn't be too hard, especially since I now have the ability to destabilize them, which I will do. Um, get them out of this, get them out of defense. I really think this is going to work. I think that all we have to do... Well, okay, no, that's not necessarily true, because I need to make them capitulate. I'm kind of now banking on this idea that winning a war against them is technically all I need, not them being part of a faction. In order to get the war goal. Because again, capitulate. What does capitulate mean in the language? Right? Let's take a look at this real quick before I end this video. Okay? Prussia of the Balkans. Capitulate Turkey while also controlling the rest of the Balkans, including Greece. So I've got to be at war with Turkey. And then I have to have them capitulate. Still at war with them. Not, they need to be defeated. Not have them surrender. I need them to surrender and still technically be at war with Turkey. Is this going to work? I don't think it is. Ah, oh, crud. I don't think this is going to work. I think I may need to keep pull, uh, call off the coup. We might need to declare on the Axis. Declare on Turkey. Get Turkey to join the Axis. And then it's just a matter of figuring out how to make this work with the Allies. I need to be a faction leader for the Balkan problem solved, too. Oh, man. All right. This is becoming a mess, and it's all because of the gosh dang UK. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.